Greek bronzes hold an unparalleled position in the art world, both as rare historical artifacts and as extraordinary standalone artistic achievements. And these priceless treasures are about to go on display in a new must-see exhibit, Power and Pathos, Bronze Sculpture of the Hellenistic World, opening at the Palazzo Strozzi in Florence this month, moving to the Getty Museum in Los Angeles in July and the National Gallery in Washington, D.C. in December. Here with the story is WSJ Global Arts Editor Eben Shapiro. Eben, thanks so much for being with us. What an incredible lineup. Can you tell us about some of the hits that are going to be in the it, show? It's really a murderer's row. It's an amazing collection of some of the most spectacular bronze sculptures. What makes it interesting is that there's such a small number of these in existence. It's an estimated of the thousands and thousands that were made in the, in the classical and Hellenistic age, uh, there's only about 200 left. And they have 50 of, of the very best pieces. And why have so many more marble sculptures from this period survived than bronze sculptures? The bronze, it, it's very easy to melt down. So it gets reused for spears and armors and later what cannons. What a shame. So it makes these pieces essentially priceless. What is it about the Hellenistic age that modern audiences are so drawn to, especially when you look at comparison to the classical right. period? Right. So the classical period, the beautiful marble and bronze pieces are very idealized, sort of the perfect abs and cheekbones. <laughs> it's a lot like a Vogue cover today. It's sort of an unattainable, idealized beauty. The, the later period, which this show focuses on, is much more of an individual look at real people. And they have crow's feet, they have scars, they have wild hair and beards. And they're, they're individuals. And, and they've been through life. Look, you can see in the faces, you can see mm -hmm. the humanity. You can see the, the, what they're thinking, almost. It's, it's truly incredible. And you say in your piece that many can argue that it's been all downhill for Western sculpture since this period. This is really considered one of the high points of Western art, the depictions of the bodies, the emotion, the, it, the, the intensity of, of these pieces speaks very directly to modern audiences. Doesn't get better than that. Is it worth getting on a plane for? Definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. All right. We will check it out. Even Shapiro, thank you so much for that.